Um, what does it feel like to be back here? It's been a while, right? Oh, yeah, it's been a while. I, uh, I'd say it's been about four or five years. Uh, I came down for a couple football games, but uh, my schedule started getting really busy to where I couldn't get down so much. But uh, I drove in uh, last night. Uh, the memories just started pouring in. First thing I always do when I come here is go by English Field. Um, and it's changed. Uh, last night it was hard to tell, but today I went down for the scrimmage. And uh, the turf, awesome. Giant hitter's eye was really cool. Um, I love what they did with the hill. Uh, with the with the seating there, uh, the, just the upgrades, uh, and then not to mention the players just look, they look like they could beat us really bad from our team back then. They look really good, so but no the coming back. I mean all the all the old memories, uh, just love it. A lot of my my friends are here tonight that that uh, were my teammates, and we continue to talk. So just it's a great weekend for me so far. So based off what you just said, um, you said that this team looked like they could definitely beat the team that you had been on. What makes you say that? They're just big physical guys. Um, and then I watched the game today. They were hitting some balls really hard. There was three homers in the game today. Um, and we didn't hit balls like that. <laughs> um, or it didn't seem like it. Uh, I know that the bats have changed a little bit. These guys were crushing balls today. Um, but they just look bigger and stronger. Um, I think the ACC has something to do, do with that. I think the upgrades to the facilities here have something to do with that. Um, and then the coaching staff here, you know, Coach Mason, I've known him for a while. Um, he's a good coach, so he's, he's getting good players in here. Um, they just look good. They look big and strong, and we didn't look like that. We were a little smaller and scrappier, but they, they were kind of scary looking. You were able to. Is this the first time you saw Coach Hartman in a while? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I, I saw Coach Hartman, I want to say, in Winter Haven. We were playing the Yankees in a spring training game. Um, and I, I can't even remember when that was. I want to say maybe 2006 or seven. it It's been a while. Um, so great to see him. ton of great memories with him. Uh, learned a lot from him. Knowledgeable guy. Had been around the game forever at that point. Um, he's the same guy. He's bubbly, you know, funny guy. Knows his stuff. He knows how to relate to people, and that's why I love playing for him. Might sound like an obvious question, but, but how much do you think you've changed since you've been here? Uh, I've changed. Uh, for you know, I think I think when I came here, I've, I've changed a lot more from when I came here than maybe from when I left here. But uh, a lot of things you learn when you go to college. Uh, you learn how to kind of live on your own a little bit for the first time. Uh, you learn how to take care of yourself, uh, to manage your time. Uh, you got the classes and the uh, the baseball at the same time, and uh, and then I think from from here to where I am now. I mean, I've grown up. I've I've been through an entire career at this point. Uh, playing wise, uh, you learn a lot. The window in baseball is a lot shorter than any other business out there, your know, professional sports in general. Um, so you see, I've, I've seen the beginning, the middle, and the end of a career. I kind of have a feel for that. Um, and then now I'm starting a new career with the uh, with the managing part. So uh, I think with with where I'm at now, the, the this is this is more fun. What I'm doing now, the managing, uh, playing. There's so much pressure. Um, now there's a different type of pressure. The uh, once the guys go out there, I can't control anything anymore. So there's that's that you get nervous. <laughs> hey, you hope you prepared them. Uh, and then you know last year we had a good year, so we know we did a good job. But a lot a lot has changed. Uh, a lot of experiences. Been to a lot of cool, exciting places. Uh, and my foundation started here that prepared me for all that. So. So how is your playing experience going to help you with managing? You think how is that going to come into play? You think? I think uh, I, I caught. So I, I think uh, it, we're paying attention to a lot of the same things that managers are required to pay attention to. We have to deal with both the pitchers and the position players. We have to hit, yet we, we have to, we're a big part of the defense. Um, I'm, I'm familiar with defensive positioning and how we need to call games according to that, um, just from catching. I, it, it, the only difference from the manager is I have to set up the defense, whereas a catcher, I'm looking at the defense and I'm doing what I'm doing based off of what I'm taking in. So I think I think there's a number of things. Uh, you learn how to relate with the pitching staff. They're a very fragile group of guys sometimes. Um, and then you got some of those guys that are real tough. And you just got to feel them out. And uh, you got to learn what makes them succeed. I think the, the thing about managing is you're just trying to get the best out of each guy. And as a catcher, you're doing the same thing. You're trying to get this guy through each inning to get the team on top every night. So you keep the team's best interests at heart at all times. You be honest and truthful with the guys. Um, and it's, it's all the same stuff you did as catcher. So uh, the playing career, it, it, it was almost kind of seamless. It was just I'm calling the shots instead of reacting to the shots. Can you uh, talk about the message maybe you'll impart tonight and 
what you can kind of tell some of these guys who are, you know, in your shoes now? You know, I, uh, I actually met with the team earlier today, so uh, the message, the message tonight is a little bit different than what I gave to them. With them, I was just trying to, to tell them, uh, you, you all have dreams, um, and I, I've been fortunate enough to be around some of the best players in the world, and I've seen uh, similarities in how they act and the things that they do and the way they prioritize. And you know, when it comes down to it, you're. you're you hear it all the time, control the controllables. Well, what are the controllables? Preparation, attitude, concentration, and effort. Uh, those are the things that you can control day in and day out that will help you become a better player. Um, integrity, do the right thing all the time, even when nobody's looking. Um, relentlessness, you, you can't stop. You gotta be, you got relentless. It's the definition of the word. You can't stop. You gotta go for what you want all times and you can't take a step off. Uh, all in. Everybody has to be a hokey if we if we want to be successful. Um, you have to play for something bigger than yourself at times. Um, and then the t toughness. Right? We talked about toughness a little bit. This is a tough game, especially in pro, pro ball. Pro ball is a little different level because we play every single day. Here you play four times a week, maybe five times a week, depends on the week. Um, but there's a toughness involved. You have to be able to deal with the little nagging injuries, things of that nature. Um, and then selflessness. Um, hit, hit them on that, uh, and it kind of goes with the all-in. Uh, in certain moments, you need to be the hero. In certain moments, you need to set up the hero. Um, and for teams to be successful, you have to have you have to be able to do both. So that was the message I left them with today. Um, just things that we try to instill in our guys to uh, succeed and take control of games and win. So spring training is right around the corner. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what your role is during spring training and what your schedule is like? Yeah. Um, so early on, I will. We we have we have two portions of spring training. We'll have our major league portion and our minor league portion. Uh, for me, I'm with the minor league portion. Um, and early on, it's a lot of players that have really no bearing on my team uh, that I'll be coming with in June. Um, so I'll be running. Uh, I'll manage some games. Uh, I'll be running uh, certain workouts. Uh, things of that nature. Uh, about a month into spring training, a younger group of players will then show up, and these are the guys that ha I have more of a bearing on for the season. These guys I will take full control over as the manager, and um, basically we have we have two teams that are kind of at the same level. We have a uh, a rookie ball team and then the short season A ball team, and and we're writing evaluations on these guys daily of who we think is ready for the higher level or who needs a little bit more time in the lower level. So a lot of it's that. But it's, it's daily uh, ins and outs of practice, uh, prepping. Uh, a lot of those guys, too, we're teaching them how to be pros. We're trying to teach them the pirate way, um, th the way we do things, what we expect, um, and then uh, going from there. You kind of talked about, obviously, having your foundation here. Mm -hmm. You talked about what that means to you and, and how that still, I mean, I know there's been time in between, but, but maybe what that still does for you even today. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I, uh, I watch football games, the Hokie football games, and I, I yell at the TV a lot. Um, I'm, I'm a Hokie. Uh, I'm, I'm into it. The guy breaks free. I'm yelling and screaming. My wife's yelling at me to stop, and I'm like, I can't. You know, uh, I, I love it here. Uh, this is, I, I knew before I even committed to, to play here that this is where I wanted to go. Um, and it was, it was weird. I, I didn't get, really get a whole lot of offers, and then all of a sudden, I don't know where Virginia Tech came out of nowhere. Um, and I, I hopped all over it. Um, I just I think another thing too with the with the staff we had here with Coach Hartman, Jay Phillips, and uh, John Hartness. I, those guys are they were they were very experienced and they they knew how to uh, make us what we needed to be to succeed on and off the field. Um, a lot of my buddies are here tonight that didn't get a chance to play professionally. A few of them did, but if you look at them, they're, they're successful. Uh, I think some of their experiences here at Virginia Tech, obviously the, the education, but I think the, the people that this university uh, hire are top-notch people, and it just spreads to the people that they come in contact with. It shows in my friends.